Grafting is only successful if you use properly collected graft wood. More grafts fail because of bad graft wood than any other single reason. Collect your graft wood in late January to early February while the trees are still fully dormant. If you collect wood late and the buds have begun to swell, the wood is inferior and cannot be used successfully. For graft wood, choose trees of the desired variety that are free of obscure scale, rosette, and disease. Young vigorous trees produce lots of current season wood which is large sized, straight, and smooth. Moderate sized trees which are growing normally usually have good graft wood in their uppermost limbs. Older trees can be cut back, forcing vigorous new growth, which makes good graft wood. Look for straight, smooth graft wood, which is one-year-old wood. You want graft wood which is between one-quarter and one-half inch in diameter. Two-year-old wood can be used if one-year growth is not available. It's important to label your graft wood when you collect it and handle it correctly in transportation and storage. We'll talk more about this in a moment. Cut the shoots you're using for grafts into lengths which will give you individual graft sticks six inches long. Each graft stick should contain at least three primary buds or nodes and each stick should be cut just above one set of buds. The ends of graft sticks can be sealed with melted wax or in shellac or even left as they are, although sealing them is preferable. Sort your graft sticks into small, medium and large sizes. You only need to seal the last quarter inch. When the seal is dry, tie the graft sticks in bundles of no more than five each. Label each bundle with permanent ink, noting both the variety and the year collected. Pack the bundles in paper towels or sphagnum moss with minimum moisture. If you prefer, you can leave out the packing medium. Store the bundles in polyethylene bags to keep them from drying out during storage. Refrigerate the bundles of graft wood between 34 and 45 degrees. Take the bundles out of refrigeration only as you need them. Graft wood should not be heated and recooled during the grafting season. Therefore, take only the graft wood you need for one day's grafting and leave the rest in refrigeration. The graft wood should be taken to the orchard in some sort of ice chest so it remains perfectly dormant until it's placed on the tree.